What's good, everybody? It's your underrated slept on Damo CTV in the cut. Um, right here, we have Maya Mu, and this video is a podcast of the journey on how he got to the point where he is now. Tune in and listen closely. You get a little bit of behind the scenes of who he is as an individual. Show love to his page, show love, and comment below. So, where do you see yourself in uh, five years from now? Um. Cause you said you want to have it together by your late 20s, right? Yeah. That's how I was thinking too. I just want to be able to put an impact on the world. I want to be able to. I want to be like, I want to, I feel like the social, I want to do social media, but I want to take it seriously. Like, yeah. like I know I'm doing like little skits and shit, but that's not that hard. Yeah. I'm only doing that just cause it's funny and it makes, it's like, just like a little, like a little wave I made, but I'm not gonna keep doing that. Yeah. But I wanna like actually like help people shit. I wanna like give back. Like spread positivity throughout the world in ways or uh... Yeah. But like give back like in like gifting like people stuff that didn't have things at, at their house. Like stuff that they didn't have at home. I wanna yeah. give them stuff at home. Like say like you never had like Jordans at your house. Or if I just gave someone Jordan's yeah. person, that's what I want to do. I don't want to like keep like doing that shit. I'm gonna switch it up though. Like I'm, I'm eventually gonna switch it up. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty dope. You know, I want to stream. I want to do a lot of things. Stream what though? Like probably hip hop stuff because I like hip hop and I don't really get to express that as much as I used to yeah so I like to react to videos music videos shit like that oh that'd be fire I would watch those react to music stuff like that I'll do that I was, yeah I always wanted to do reaction videos but but everybody does them to... everybody does them too though so then okay. I want to stand out I gotta figure out how to stand out when I do it I see I think that too sometimes. I'm like, when I do my YouTube video, how am I going to start it? Should yeah. I start it off with the fit check every single time? You go, yo, what's up, y'all? I got a fit check. You know, the fit check in. And then I'll be like, you know, there's a couple other ideas I had in mind. Just keep trying. You'll figure it out. Yeah. You'll figure out what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you got any advice? Because uh, go ahead and talk about your... Um, your journey through TikTok and you know YouTube and stuff like that from from start to now the very very beginning yeah okay so when I first heard about TikTok I was probably like 18 mm -hmm. I didn't really think much of it I thought it was just like you know a quick way to go viral which and I was you're like, 22 now yeah and I was just like I was about I was 18 being 19 mm -hmm. and I was just like oh this shit's probably easy I easily go viral on here so I started I made my first account yeah and it was not easy so from the jump you're like i'm gonna go viral yeah <laughs> before I you even posted a video you're like i'm going viral yeah i didn't think about <laughs> money at, at first i wasn't thinking about the money i was just yeah like, oh god like i was just trying everything yeah. you remember so, your first video what was it ah oh, fuck <laughs> what is that did you see that shit no i missed it was it like oh, a shooting star or something no nah, i was a fucking bug a big ass fucking oh hell no it was like probably about the biggest size of my hand. Yeah, but anyway, know. um, it's a bat. She talking about? <laughs> but um, I seen um for my first video was like a dancing video, and that shit was ass. Like, <laughs> I don't know, probably deleted it now. But it was like I had three, I had three accounts on TikTok. That that account got banned. Why? Because I was being inappropriate, making inappropriate jokes and shit. Uh. And I was just like making dumb videos trying to do videos people uh, people did before just doing trends hopping on trends yeah videos getting like 200 views 400 views not doing yeah. shit yeah and so at the um, time did those 200 400 views feel like a lot kind of yeah yeah but i had got 10k on there eventually because um i made this one video it was like a skit mm -hmm. and it was like about when your mom whoops you and you put extra clothes on oh yeah so it doesn't hurt as much so I made a skit like that. It was all dumb. It got like, <laughs> I think I, I think I did see that, bro. Got like forty k in there. 
Yeah. And then after that, um, I had did um, posted some other videos that weren't doing shit. And then eventually, I came up with the um, since people want to act stupid thing. Yeah. Um. Well, no reason how I came up with that was it was like, um just genuine. So I seen like this TikTok video. Yeah. Of this is a black lady. She was talking about black shades of people of, mm. of the race. Like, oh, this is dark skin. This is light skin. This is brown skin. This is mixed. And I was just kind of like, there's a darker shade than dark skin. I don't agree with this. And she's like, no. And I, was, <laughs> I wanted to stitch. I wanted to stitch the video, but I couldn't yeah. stitch it because she didn't allow stitching. And I just thought this shit was so stupid that she made that. And mm. I was so mad about it. And I was like, let me make a video explaining this on my own. Like, let me make a video separately and just explain the shades of black people, the five shades. Yeah. If people want to act stupid, I'm going to show you the top five different shades of black people. Yeah. And I was just like, since people want to act stupid, and I was referring to that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk about the top five shades of black people. So I was like, you know, just responding to her. But she doesn't know that I respond to her. And I wasn't and tag or anything and just responded making the video yeah and that shit got like 2k at first yeah and eventually it got a hell of more views like through how much time until it got the hell of more like, like over like a, like a month a month and a half ago like damn 500k i think damn and after that i stopped kind of posting like that why would you stop there because i was i didn't know how to make i was kind of you know you were probably you're like a like damn i don't really have experience with tiktok so i didn't know how to keep going viral and shit yeah so i just was dumb but um that got views and i was like oh do white people do white shades and mm -hmm. i was just kind of like uh, i guess i did it yeah. that shit got kind of views and i did like another one but it got taken down which was i think it was about like fat people <laughs> It didn't like. <laughs> I know I'm so dumb for that. Oh yeah. And then um, I stopped doing that shit. I just started yeah. posting like little stitches of like, I don't know, just like dumb shit. And then eventually I got banned because I made this joke. It was like, um, is it gonna get banned from here? Nah. Okay. But it was like a fish. See that? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It was like one of those videos. Yeah. And like, um, I added like a little, um, like a sound of like a girl <laughs> making like, you know, loud noises. Yeah. And like, I guess TikTok banned me after that shit. <laughs> Your whole account? Yeah, that account. I was like, damn. Damn. Because I had to start from scratch. Why'd you post that, bro? And, and I have, <laughs> what are you thinking? And then this is my other. After um, I made another account, like, months later, that got 10K faster, like, in a really? month. Because I was doing this dumb shit. Okay. I you better show me the video? Yes. This is what I used to do, and it was so childish, but it was funny as fuck. <laughs> it would be, like, the dumbest captions, like... <laughs> when she says, when she says, we're not doing anything on the first date... So you posted, you posted those videos. Now, from that point to now, though, it's... but that, I'm more careful with it now. Yeah. Back then, I was doing too much. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like how I was doing it, I had like I was using an actual wig, mm -hmm. and I'm like just like you know going like this and going like like just doing too much. Yeah. So that's why it was getting <laughs> taken down because like yeah, it was like you know I'm showing like I'm obvious with it, but now I'm just kind of just more like not doing nothing. Like I don't, I just play the sound. Yeah. And I just kind of just kind of fake. Like, I'm not really doing too much. I don't yeah. want to do too much facial expressions. Yeah. I don't want it to be obvious. I want people to get it, but, like, not to get it. You know? Yeah. Whoever gets it, gets whoever doesn't get it, doesn't get it. Yeah. If you know, you know. Because back then, I was just trying to, I was trying to make people understand. <laughs> I wanted people to get it, you know. <laughs> I wanted y'all to get that shit. But now it's like, nah, I can't do that because yeah. you're going to get banned. So that account got banned. But it was funny as hell, though, because I made, like, a bunch of memes from it. I think mm. one page posted me, too, though. And it was on a meme page where a million followers posted it. But it got banned. I got banned, like, a day after that shit. Damn. But I realized, after that, I realized I can't be inappropriate on TikTok. I got to be... If I'm going to blow up on here or if I'm going to get views on here or want to build an audience on here, I got to do it in a way that's not immature or racist or 
you know, disrespectful. And so that's when I made another account. And, and was, this time you that's you came in with that mindset, right? Yeah, I came in with the let me be more like PG, you know, I don't need to be childish like everybody else. Yeah. And so then I started I, I sell shoes and shit, so I was promoting my shoe business. So I made a page for my shoes. Yeah. And that page was not doing the greatest. It was doing all right. And then I had it was these shoes called the Jordan Oreo Fours. Mm. I had got them early access from sneakers. And yeah. then um I was like thinking like what if, what kind of video could I make with these? And I thought of a fucking I thought of a skit. Right. And I was like, Ooh, I have an idea. What if I go to a Safeway and I make like a little skit like, Hey mom, can I get some Oreos? And I come home <laughs> and it's not the Oreos, it's like the shoes. Yeah. So I did that. Hey mom, can I get some Oreos? Come on, they're gluten free. You said you got some at home? You sure? Not these kind of Oreos. Come on now. That shit got three million views. And that was your that was the first time you made you made the A mom? Yeah, that was the first time. Damn. I and then it got How long ago was that? I was like two years ago. But I never never took it seriously. I was just playing. Mm -hmm. And so I was posting my other shoe shit. It wasn't getting views, so I was like, damn. You said five mil? A mom, can I get some Oreos? Yeah, it was three million, but yeah. Three million? And I was like, damn. Shit. And so um I started doing more skits like that, but I didn't get any more. They didn't get views like that, but they were getting like, most of them probably got like 300,000 max, mm. but they were doing all right. And then um, eventually I was like, you know, I can't keep doing this skit shit. This is kind of not something I feel genuinely happy about doing. Mm -hmm. We do something that I want to do. So I made a personal account, which was the one I have now. Yeah. And I was thinking of the since people in the act stupid idea. Mm. Like what if I just made, what if I said that and made like videos about things I wanted to talk about mm -hmm. that people don't know about. So then I started that. First video yeah. I did was about Thanksgiving food. Mm. That shit didn't do shit. But in the next one, it was I was like, let me remake the video I made two years ago about the black people. I mean the black shades. Yeah. That shit blew up instantly. It got like five million views. It got more than the last one. Damn. And then. I think I know which, which videos you're talking about. So five fun facts or... Yeah, that shit. Yeah. And so I evolved that style, but at the time it was kind of like I just started it mm -hmm. again. And then um, I had got 10K in that first week of doing that shit. And remember, remember it took me 10K to get it in the first month. And it took me 10K like three months to get it on my first ever TikTok. Yeah. And so I did that shit in a week. Just being... Damn. Like, you know, just regular. And so I was like, dang. Yeah, just doing shit you like to do. That's yeah. crazy. You gotta be inappropriate or you gotta do corny shit. Yeah. To get 10K. Yeah. So I realized I just gotta be myself. And we gotta build an audience. I didn't have an audience like that on my other accounts. Mm -hmm. But on these accounts, I have an audience. So people support me. People know, or people don't know me personally, but they know about me. You yeah. Know they know what I look like. They're gonna yeah. like my video just because it's me, you know? Not for and how does that feel? That's good. That's what you want to build, though. You want an audience. That's yeah. the most important thing. Like, fuck the views. Fuck all that. You need an audience first. Mm -hmm. The reason I did the skit shit again was because I felt like I could do it. Because before I started my YouTube, I was posting, like, hundreds of videos mm -hmm. from my TikTok. And building just building an audience. Building yeah. a, a following that you just watch my stuff from what I'm posting. Yeah. And so I thought, you know, what if, if I switched it up, they wouldn't fuck with me anymore. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. But I realized I'm like, you know, I can't be scared to do to twitch it up because these people will watch videos that are complete shit and still watch them. So, like, if I make these videos, they're going to support me. You know, I'm, I was wondering if they're going to support me or not. But I was like, you know, they have they're going to they're going to. So I wasn't scared anymore. So I just damn, that's valid. I made like 20 videos first mm -hmm. of the skits. And mm -hmm. I made like five extra ones. Yeah. And then I went to LA. I started posting. 
I made 10 more regular videos of the top five videos. Yeah. But then I po started posting the skits and started doing good. And mm -hmm. after a week later, I started getting millions and millions. The A mom skits? Yeah. And I was like, mm -hmm. holy shit. And then um, I got like 40K like in a month. Yeah. 40, like 50K actually in a month. 50K subs. Yeah. Because I have 40K. Mm hmm. But if it, I got like more than that, what I ever had in a month. And I was like, God damn. Mm. My TikTok was already solidified though. Yeah. I already had like over 100K on there. So I was good. Mm. But, um, you yeah, like I started doing the skits and then I was like, let me do it again. Just because, and yeah, we're here right now. It's about to be 100K soon. Probably trying to do it before the 8th. So I got like three more days. Yeah. But yeah. About to be there. Damn. And working on something special, but I'm trying to work with. I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm just gonna say with ladies. Mm. But yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm curious. Yeah, I can't wait to see the content. Y'all yeah. go ahead and for the podcast, go ahead and follow. My Mu M I A H M O O O O O. My Mu on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Y'all go follow me. Yeah, you guys know where to show love. But yeah, it's fucking, you're really putting everybody on game right now, bro. Yep. So key factors of what I got from the conversation is just be yourself. Um, don't be racist. Don't be <laughs> immature. Don't be childish. Yes, sir. I mean, you can be funny, but just don't be doing goofy shit to get clout. Like, I mean, my, sometimes my skits can be corny, but, like, it's, like, not, not in, like, a bad way, though. It's, like, a good corny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'd be seeing corny, and it's, like, there's way, way more cornier shit on the internet than what mm. I do. So, I ain't tripping. Like, there'd be people, like, putting fucking ketchup on their face and rubbing it on them. Uh, what? Yeah, bro. I mean, it'd be shit like that, though. Or people rubbing peanut butter on their face to muscle them. Nom nom. I'm a baby. Like, real shit. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I I'd never like a video like that. If I'm doing, if I ever do some shit like that, y'all gotta let me know. Just be like, stop. Like, <laughs> somebody needs to let me know. I'm, like, I'm not finna, like, I ain't trying to let no clout get to my head or some shit. I ain't trying yeah. to be like one of them type of people. Yeah. That is crazy. That shit's funny, bro. Well, I, I ain't never, I ain't gonna put no wig on my head either. Why not, bro? I just not. I mean, some people do it for like skits and shit. I just can't. Those skits are funny, bro. <laughs> uh, I can't do it. I put like probably a, a pink hat or something. Uh, a bonnet. I put a bonnet on. Yeah. I ain't putting no wig. <laughs> or no dress. There's nothing wrong with a dress, bro. No, I'm fucking with you. No, it's just, it's just how I was raised. My parents wouldn't fuck with that type of shit, so I wouldn't do it. I just, that of course I, not, bro. They wouldn't see me the same. Yeah, you're not supposed to be wearing freaking wigs. And, exactly. And People be dress. doing that, though, and I'm be like... No. The dress, too? Oh, yeah, they do, huh? Yeah, they be doing that for, like, skits. To, like, to be a mom, like yeah. the mom skits, the, the bonnet and a dress with the fucking statula like, in her hand or something. I ain't doing this shit. I probably did it like one time, but I was like, you like two years ago. I ain't doing that shit again. You learn from that. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that no more, bro. So on a normal video that you that you put up, how much likes do you get on it? Like just a top five video? Yeah. Um, probably like a, a thousand. A thousand. Yeah, on TikTok like a thousand. Just a thousand. Mm. Sometimes they go viral though, so. Yeah. It could be like 10,000, 100,000. So how does it feel when the difference between... Because that's something that... That's also something I wasn't really thinking about. 100. So regularly you're getting about 1,000. 1,000 likes. And then when they go viral... It's like 10,000 plus. But you can't let that affect... You can't let that get to your head. You got to kind of just take it as nothing, you know? So just keep dropping i yeah. got three likes on my youtube video bro and i was happy i got i got uh 11 views and three likes i'll keep pushing and that was a video i dropped yesterday and it, like that feels like nothing to me i mean that feels like a lot to me yeah, because i just barely started dropping and i wasn't yeah. advertising the videos 
and like I, I still got a, a little bit of love from those 11 people you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying liked it. and I, I was like that made me happy right there you know so I just like starting this journey out for me is definitely I know it's gonna be a long road and I know these these moments right now everybody who rocks with me right now you know I'm definitely gonna be uh, rocking with them later on can't you know? give up yeah everyone's gonna be like yeah bro remember uh, Damo Mobs I'll probably change my name, bro. I, I want to come up with something more, more like simple. I, mine's just, I try to make mine simple. It's just Maya and Moo. Yeah. Because before it was just true Maya, and that was kind of, it was one of three, and it was kind yeah. of just ridiculous. But then the biggest thing is trying to match all of my names and all of my, like, you got Maya Moo for everything. Yeah. Yeah, I got to come up with a name that's original to me that yeah. matches my personality and that nobody has that way i can use it everywhere that's what i just what i did i'm still in the developmental stages of my uh, as you yeah. you know i'm still in the developmental stages but as of the last two weeks i've been actually like thinking like um i mean when you're consistent and you're still doing this for like two more years ahead of time mm -hmm. you'll know what the fuck to do mm -hmm. just don't give up that's what you don't do yeah <laughs> Before, if you switch it up before you give up, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Try something different before you give up. Yeah. Yeah, it was just recently where I was like, bro, I can't just, like, sleep on my fucking vision. I got to go ahead and live my vision and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. Do what I want to do. You got to think about it. A lot of people aren't even doing social media, so it's not even, like, hard to really get on if you actually try yeah people don't try that's why they're not on yeah yeah that's one thing i was worried about is like damn what if nobody really rocks my videos that's, so, that's, that's why i didn't start my youtube for, for a minute because i'm mm -hmm. scared people would judge it or they wasn't gonna fuck with it yeah yeah but then i'm like it, it, i can't really trip about what other people think i gotta just um be the creator that i should be make content for myself that i'm proud of and then people that have good taste will right. like my videos <laughs> you know what i'm saying exactly. if you got good taste exactly. if you match my personality if you have a cool vibe like me then you're gonna rock with me you know right. and i'm not out here faking nothing so or doing extra you know right. stuff outside of my character to impress viewers at least that's not what I don't want to get into. I'm not putting ketchup on my face for, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that shit. Cloud chasing. Because the guy that, like, think about it. The guy that puts ketchup on his face, every time someone sees him and he went viral, say, like, everybody in the world saw this guy. Right. That's the guy that puts ketchup on his face. You know what I'm see, saying? That's, see, that's why, I, that's why I don't want to keep doing the skit shit. Cause yeah. Like, oh, you're the guy that says, hey, mom was like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know like, and people think that I actually, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why you got to switch it up. You can't keep doing shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm aware of it, though. People, some people probably think I'm not aware of that, but I'm very aware of that. Yeah. I'm just going to ride it out a little bit more, and I'm going to be done with it. Mm -hmm. I'll never do it again, ever. You don't gotta say ever now. Okay, I, okay. When I get like, the, uh, when I get like bigger, I will probably do some funny shit, but I don't. Yeah. I like, keep doing it. Right, right. Like say I met, I, I got like super big and I met like this rapper, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do like a video with him. And I'm like, hey, can I take a picture with this person? And they're like, no. And then it'll be like some shit. Like, <laughs> like for example, like say like Money Back Yo. I'm like, yeah. Hey, can I take a picture with Money Back Yo? And my mom's like, no. And I go home. It's like a money bag. Yeah. Or some shit like that. Or like, yeah. what else could I do? <laughs> um, or like Ice Cube. Like, you know, like, mm. I take a picture of Ice Cube. No, we got Ice Cube at home. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Ice Cube. <laughs> shit like that. That'd be dope if you could actually fucking be linked up with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they probably wouldn't want me to fuck the image up like that. Damn, that's pretty valid, bro. I'm just, I keep reminiscing on the future, you know. I'm gonna be driving the car that I want to drive, bro. It's gonna be, the paint is gonna be how I want it. 
tents can be how I want it, engine how I want it. But I want to get a house too, you know. Would would I really want to fucking advertise on my podcast and would I want to live on my YouTube? Is the journey that's what, like before I started right. everything. What I was thinking is I wanted to be genuine, yeah. and I want people to see the from start from the start. I don't want to be there already and then start making videos. Right. I want I want to give people the opportunity to see like, hey, bro, I was where you were before. Right. or i'm where you are now or i i remember when i was where you're at you know what i'm saying right. i want to i want people to be able to relate to that right but at the same time i don't want to go ahead and freaking get my house robbed and my car broken into or stripped yeah you know that's like the one thing i'm worried about but and that's kind of the risk of me doing this shit because niggas know my car is yeah, <laughs> everybody you know, knows your car. car. <laughs> hey, you see him? That's the risk of it, but hey, I'm not scared. Hey, yo, is that uh, is that the guy that does skis in the green frizz? <laughs> hey, we watch that shit. <laughs> oh God. I be like, nah, that's my move. But, I, but eventually, I'm gonna have to switch cars. So. Yeah. Are you gonna advertise? <laughs> if you get the car that you t- that I that I asked you, if you get the car you wanted. I Bro, no, no one's gonna know what, which car is your car. Yeah, if I get a black. <laughs> yeah, or white. Like, no one's gonna know. No one at all will know which car is yours. Exactly. Shit, you wanna get going? Yeah, we can mob out. Anyways, y'all, go ahead and uh, show love to the podcast. Um, hit up my move. Show love to his TikTok, his YouTube. It's IG too. Yep, y'all go follow. Follow. That's what we're. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for you know a like and a comment. We're just looking for some audience. That's what I desire. I want a, a an audience. Exactly. Especially now after you summed it up for me, bro. Yeah, you don't don't care about fuck the views and shit. You need loyal people that's gonna comment, rock with your videos, like all everything. That's yeah. So once you have that, you can post whatever you want. Yeah. And you can do whatever you want. That's why I was able to do what I did. Because I had an audience. Hell yeah. If you made it all the way to the end, go ahead and comment below, underrated GOAT. Um, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, share the video. And we out.